on the job site and you get your sample of concrete, you have to, first thing, wheel it to wherever you're going to do your test. Remix the concrete. And it's not suitable just to go like this to remix it. You have to actually take your shovel, mix it around really good. right away. Make sure it's not right on the edge of the wheel barrel. Six inch insertion into the concrete. You have to have it in the concrete for a minimum of two minutes. Get it read. Then you read that from here's half a degree. Put your slump board in a spot where it doesn't rock. It can't rock. It can't. You might have to use sand to level it if you don't have a level spot on a job site. Preferably on concrete or asphalt because it's nice and flat. Take your sponge, moisten the inside of your cone, and then moisten, just moisten the slump board. You don't want any water on the slump board. So if you wouldn't do this, don't do that. Because that's no good. That's what you can't test so then you got to wipe it off. So no water on the board. From the time you mix that to the time you complete your test, you've got two minutes to complete your test. Put your feet on the cone like that. Fill your cone in three equal layers by volume, not by height. So I want to go down to the bottom of the uh, slump board without hitting the bottom of the board or the hitting hitting the board at all so I'm measuring right so I made, made a mark on the outside of my cone so I'm going to go that deep so I'm going to rod it that deep every time so 25 times equally distributed fill it to the next level 25 millimeters into the underlying layer, so about there. That. And then fill it so that it's overflowing somewhat. 25 mils into the underlying layer. If it falls below the bottom of the, or the top of the cone, just pop it up a little bit. Then strike it off with the rod so that there's no voids. Clean the loose debris around the cone, step off of it, and then in one motion pull it in five seconds. I'd rather see a slow pull than a long, uh, than a short pull, so it's important. Set that like that. Don't bump that. And then take the average reading to the nearest five millimeters. So you actually have to measure in two separate spots. You can't just take the middle. You actually have to take the one spot, take the other spot, say the slump, 40 millimeters, to the nearest five millimeters, okay? And if it actually went over like that, you would redo it. 